What's going on guys, Michael back here again in my garage. I am doing a little bit of networking stuff today. Specifically, I am going to be trying to get this new Dell PowerEdge R730 online. This is not actually new. I did order this used um, on eBay and I did get a couple other things with it. Um, I think I, I was talking to the Mining King about a couple different things and I guess a lot of these do not come with actual you know, caddies for the SSDs that you put in them or the, the 2.5 hard drives. It looks like this one did come with them. So I am happy about that. I have some more on the way that I'll probably just return. I do have a front plate for it, not exactly sure how I'm going to get it on. Um, I tried a couple different things on here, but I'm sure I'll figure it out once I get everything all uh, together. Um, the server rails are on the way. Um, they will be coming in today, so I figured I might as well get this up and going and um, you know, testing it out, making sure everything works. And then also I am going to be moving everything over from the original server rack that I have here with the LEDs and everything. I will be moving it over to one of the uh, the half racks that we had over at Terra. Now I chose to switch over to a shorter rack. Uh, both are on wheels. Um, I actually prefer the black um, in the garage and everything. And I do like the lights and everything, of course. But um, the one thing I was not uh, too happy about is that a lot of these servers are, I guess pretty much all of these servers, they're like 27 and a half inches uh, long or deep. And um, it'll actually be sticking out the back of this, which makes me think maybe this is more of a, uh, not a networking rack or just a networking rack, not a server rack. I know that there's different types and everything like that. But uh, when I first moved this in here, I wasn't really thinking about the depth and everything. Um, so that is why I'm gonna be transferring over everything that's in here. It's not a whole lot. Um, the only thing that I have really screwed in here is the APC at the top. Um, everything else can kind of be moved. Um, you know, I have the little uh, 220 uh, to 120 transformer down there, and I have the AT&T modem that's all connected up to uh, the Wi-Fi mesh system for now. Um, that's the setup that I have. So um, all that's going to be moved over here. I am going to be putting in some shelves and stuff like that. I think I'm going to be putting all the servers closer to the, the floor. I don't want to put it all the way at the bottom. Um, but I uh, also don't want it up towards the top where I want to have the majority of the networking stuff and I don't want to have to move everything all around anytime I change something. Again, I want to eventually, you know, switch over to Ubiquiti and everything and have, uh, you know, switches um, in here that are going out to the rest of my house for cameras and whatnot. So I kind of want to lay this out the right way the first time. Um, and again, I think I'm going to be putting this closer to the bottom, not all the way low. Um, I'll probably put it right about here uh, and then put some shelves up here for all the other stuff so but as you can see in here uh, these are from Terra like I said uh, I did pick this one up we have quite a few of them uh, this is the inside of it um, it's a lot more bare bones than uh, this one this one kind of with all of the you know um, uh, shelves and everything like that all in there so I can probably use those in here I know that this is like kind of screws that go in um, but this is more of a, a well, this, you know, networking screws, but also the clip in the back of it. I've done a lot of these over at Terra. And this also does not have a, um, you know, a base floor, um, kind of like this one. So all the extension cords and everything like that, I'm going to have to, you know, uh, zip tie to the side and the back. And now that I'm actually looking at it when it's open, since this, you know, these servers, this, this isn't going to be my first one, but I do plan on getting others. So now that I'm looking at it, you know, once this server is in there, you're not going to really be able to run a whole lot of wires behind it. So they do have to be lower. Um, and then I can have the shelves up here for all of the networking stuff and things like that. So um, I'm hoping this all goes pretty smooth. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I know um, I saw um, the Mining King do about, I think we had 25 blade servers and each one he, uh, he opened and you know, double checked the RAM and everything like that. Uh, you can see here that I think this plate comes out right here. Um, I'm not sure if it's clipped in or nope, just pops up, okay. Uh, you can see right here, this is where all the RAM is. Uh, these are the two processors. So the specs on this server, um, it has two uh, 750 watt uh, power supplies in it. It is a Dell PowerEdge R730. So the reason why I went with this specific one is because uh, the two processors right here, they are each the 2694V4s. 
And with the V4s, I am able to run Nimbus nodes. All of the other earlier ones and everything like that, you could get more RAM and you could get more, you know, some of them came with hard drives and everything like that, but they were only capable of running Cumulus nodes. And that's because the executions per second were just not high enough. And so this one does come with 128 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. And compared to the other ones uh, with the, you know, older processors and everything like that are not high, high end, you know, compared to these, um, it would have sometimes half of, you know, terabyte of RAM, but it would be DDR3. And I know the difference is not astronomical, but the amount of VMs that I'm going to be running on this is not that, it's not going to be that many. I do have a total of 40 cores. Um, so I, I, I want a bunch of, you know, uh, just wall, VM wallets and stuff for core wallets, um, a couple VMs from, for other projects and everything like that. Um, so, and of course the Nimbus nodes and everything like that. So the actual amount of RAM was not a huge, you know, a concerning factor for when I was buying this, but 128 gigs was good enough. I do have, uh, four, one terabyte SSDs that I am going to be putting in here. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I haven't figured that part out. Uh, but I do believe you could put them in RAID so that there's redundancy. I think I might need one more. I, I, I don't know. I will probably definitely be reaching out to the Mining King later with about a million questions on this. But I do want to troubleshoot this as much as possible, um, you know, without help. That's kind of how I learn. It's kind of hands-on. I am going to be installing ESXi, ESXi on this. Um, I signed up on their website and I got a key. I'm hoping it works. Um, so we'll see with that, but um, it's kind of neat. You know, this is really a clean system. You could tell wherever it was ran was real clean. Um, it's a lot. It's I don't want to say it's a lot different than you know computers and stuff like that that I've built. I've built you know dozens and dozens of uh, custom computers, uh, but its server is definitely uh, a little bit different. So I'm excited to get this up and going. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just show you guys as I get everything moved over into this what it looks like you know, once I get the rails on and uh, I'm going to probably be doing some videos on, um, you know, my, my, you know, my, I want to say my processor, my, uh, my progress, I guess is the best way to say it with, uh, building out VMs and everything like that. This server does have, uh, some 16 X PCIe lanes. So I am going to be getting two GPUs for that. I know on one of the last live streams, a couple of you guys were giving good recommendations. Um, uh, it looks like that these servers only work with specific ones. Uh, so I don't want to go overboard with anything. Um, you know, I, I kind of just want to keep this as uh, not cheap as possible, but you know, um, I'm not going to be doing anything, you know, graphics wise with this, but let me know down in the comments if you guys have any suggestions for uh, some GPUs uh, for this server. But that said guys, I'm going to go ahead and make sure all this RAM is in there nice and tight and I'm going to get everything back together, moved over into the new rack and we'll be back in a second. What's up guys, uh, Michael back here. We have everything installed in the new rack. It does not look uh, super pretty right now. I've realized I don't have any zip ties, uh, but I did put the APC up here, the uh, 30 amp uh, 2240 PDU. I do have the little transformer right here, the one shelf in uh, a ring alarm system, the AT&T fiber. Uh, I got the mesh system up there, and of course, uh, what I've been working on the most here, these, this um, uh, Dell PowerEdge R730 is in and it's on. I am not getting a readout on it. Um, I probably am doing something wrong. Uh, there's nothing on it. I'm not booting from a disk or anything like that, so um, I had to look more into that. But this took a lot longer than I expected. Um, I actually had to move a lot of these. Uh, um, the uh, I don't know what exactly they're called, but I had to move the ones in the back right there um, further back so that I could put the, the rails for the, this uh, this power edge on. So that is in and on there. That took a bit to do. I do need to cable manage everything. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead, kind of cut it here, guys. Uh, that's gonna be it for the video. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of troubleshooting. I did have to take off the ground plate. Um, this wasn't really even connected in the case. Um, so I'm gonna leave some of this stuff off, but everything seems to be up and going. I can now roll this other uh, server rack that I had out of the way, push this one back, and then I guess uh, it's the start of troubleshooting uh, the server. So that's gonna be a long process, but I'm excited to learn about this. And I'll have room for some other stuff under it, some other servers. Maybe I'll do a Chia plotted server and uh, just data storage and stuff like that. I don't really know, but uh, now I have the space for it. Uh, so I am excited about that. But yeah, that's going to be everything, guys. I'm exhausted. So uh, I hope everyone watching this has a great rest of the day, and we'll see you guys next time.